His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sukhir Palace the personal representative of His Majesty the King for charity work and youth affairs. President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the presence of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, Sheikh, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness uh, Sheikh Nasser introduced to His Majesty Ali Abdul Rasul, who won the gold medal in the bodybuilding competition, and Ali Munfridi, who won the gold medal in the Jiu Jitsu, both of whom participated in the 5th Asian Beach Games in Vietnam, and Fatima Safar, who won the gold medal in the shot put category in Paralympic Games in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. His Majesty praised the achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the field of sports on the international level, which affirms the capabilities of Bahrainis to participate in such events. He affirmed his keenness to support the sports sector to help Bahrainis improve and achieve further progress and enhance the status of the kingdom. His Majesty honored the players with medals in appreciation of the achievement they made for the country. He then expressed thanks and appreciation to them and commended their achievements and their high spirits, praising all players who represented Bahrain in such events. His Majesty praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser for providing all necessary measures, equipment and possibilities for players and implementing the plans and programs needed to achieve prosperity in this field. He also praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid in achieving victory and advanced places in various competitions. His Majesty affirmed that this honoring is for all sports figures of Bahrain. His Majesty the King called all youth to maintain these significant results and continue to accomplish the highest levels of performances to enhance the positions of Bahrain in all international events. He appreciated the role of the National Federation in motivating players, hailing the role of the President of Bahrain Weightlifting and Bodybuilding Federation, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, President of the Bahrain Disabled Sports Federation, Sheikh Mohammed bin Daj Al Khalifa, and President of the Bahrain Self Defense Federation, Ahmed Al Khayyat, and Head of Bahrain's Mission to the Asian Beach Games in Vietnam. The players expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the honoring, which they said it will create a strong motivation to continue providing the highest levels of performances in order to achieve the highest results. They hailed His Majesty's continued with support and encouragement and also express appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid for their support and for providing them with these opportunities.
His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Qadibiyya Palace today the Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh and a number of MPs in addition to senior state officials in the presence of former Representative Speaker Khalifa Al Bahrani. His Royal Highness said that government parliamentary cooperation resulted in positive outcomes and progress. He affirmed directives to cooperate with the legislative authority in order to enhance democracy in Bahrain, especially under the challenges that face the kingdom, which require joint efforts to ensure the progress of the national march of the country and its goals. His Royal Highness stressed the government's keenness to affirm freedom and democracy of the kingdom in line with the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He affirmed efforts to protect the country and maintain its gains and achievements against all attempts aiming to foil these achievements in addition to the security and economic challenges. He stressed that the government's aspirations will overcome these challenges in order to provide high living standards for the people. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of strengthening cooperation between the executive and the legislative authority authorities, highlighting the national role of the executive authority in supporting the progress march of the kingdom in all fields. He also stressed the need for more coordination and joint action to maintain gains and achieve progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister then discussed topics on national concern and stressed the need to carefully deal with regional and international issues that affect the levels of cooperation and face all challenges targeting the country's achievements and stability. He stressed that countries should take into account that some of its legislation does not affect the sovereignty of other countries or affect the joint relations and cooperation. He added that the legislative authorities in different countries should enhance its relation with other countries and support bilateral interests. Interests.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired Al Ghadibiya Palace today, the weekly cabinet meeting. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on receiving the Lifetime Achievement Award bestowed by the USC3 Summit and the Samuel Zwemer Award by the Reformed Church in the United States. His Royal Highness affirmed that these awards reflect the world's respect to the achievements made by His Majesty the King in developing the country as well as his efforts in serving humanity and enhancing tolerance, values and respect for religions. The Cabinet stressed the importance of activities that open the doors for more cooperation in the oil and gas industry. Commending the outcome of the 10th Middle East Refining and Petrochemicals Conference, the Petrotech 2016, which was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. During the meeting, the Minister of Oil briefed the audience about Petrotech and the activities it held. The cabinet uh, condemned targeting UAE civil vessel in Bab al Mandeb, stating that the attack was a terrorist act that violates international laws and humanity. The cabinet also denounced the continuous raids on Aleppo that target hospitals and civil or civil societies, killing and injuring hundreds of people. They urged international community to take actions as to stop the bloodshed in Syria. The cabinet warned of some legislation that affects sovereignty and relations between countries, stressing that recent challenges require strengthening relations between countries and enhancing the level of cooperation. The cabinet approved three laws by decree. The first amending decree law 12 for the year 1971 regarding civil and commercial procedures. The second draft decree by law amends law 32 for the year 2010 regarding financial disclosure and the third amendment or amends law 26 for the year 2014 on establishing the National Institute for Human Rights. The cabinet approved law by decree to cancel Information Affairs Authority and appoint the Ministry of Information Affairs to take its tasks. They also approved law by decree regarding reorganizing the Ministry of Information Affairs. The cabinet approved ratifying the status of the Arab Court of Human Rights. The cabinet reviewed a memorandum about garment and textile industry and the options of the free trade agreement with the USA. The cabinet discussed five proposals regarding security surveillance cameras, combating crimes, the risk of premiums for some jobs, finding solutions for rain problems and Al Naim Youth Center. Energy Minister Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza affirmed that the solar panel plant in the Kingdom of Bahrain that Solar One Company announced to launch will start production before the end of this year. He affirmed that the trial production already began, pointing out that this step will enhance Bahrain's status in the renewable energy sector. The company aspires to cooperate with the official authorities to provide solar powered light poles without the need for laying power cables that will work 24 hours. The company will also provide solutions for solar power generation. generation at competitive prices in Bahrain and the region. Minister of Housing Basim bin Yagoub Al Hamar announced that a tender to implement the first phase of the Al Ramli housing project, comprising of 1,246 units and funded by the Gulf Development Program, has been launched at the tender board's headquarters. The minister stated that the move is the first official step to implementing such a strategic project, which is one of the key projects included in the government action plan, the GAP, to build 25,000 units stemming from the Royal Directive to construct 40,000 units. The minister pointed out that 12 contractors from Bahrain and Saudi Arabia met the requirements and participated in the tender. He noted that as soon as the tender is awarded, the project site will be prepared and provided with the necessary equipment to pave the way for the construction work to begin, stressing the ministry's keenness on expediting the implementation process to better serve the citizens.